Mike. Say deuce. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, let me tell you, I'm so thankful we live in the era we live in now. Yes. Uh, a lot of crazy things here at the Gold Country Medical History Museum. So many cool things. I mean, seriously, you could explore this place for hours, and the great volunteers here do a great job teaching everyone about all this stuff. We're going to go over some of them here. My guy, Rod, he, this guy knows everything about this museum. He's put a lot of it together. All right, a couple of these things, these cabinets are filled with stuff, but let's highlight a couple of things, including these two things right here. Well, what is this? This is the example of about 35 different pills by the Humphrey Company. These are homeopathic remedies. This one's for runny nose, and these are for bedwetting. Oh, so you're saying, oh, I got a little issue. I may actually need some of this. Um, okay, yeah. they, you go to the doctor, and they that's say, 20, hey, take be this. 25 cents for that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, did this stuff actually work, though? Uh, no. Okay, did they think it worked at the time? Well, yes, they did. A lot of things in medicine get better on their own, so people attribute the cure to the last thing they did. So they would, if they got better after taking the runny nose medicine, they would tell their friends, and next thing you know, everybody's yeah. using it. Yeah. So. All right, let's make our way down here. By the way, this museum is open on the weekends and available for field trips here. I would encourage schools to come down here because it's like a trip through time. Rod. Uh, this is another thing you were showing me, and this is seriously borderline unbelievable. Um, this is a list of all types of ailments, and this thing right here is called what? This is a violet array. Okay. Violet arrays did nothing. They were all another quackery device, and, uh, and this one, here we come on here. Okay, so you're saying if I had, let's see here, uh, what are some different things? Oh, bronchitis. Oh. Uh, I'd come to the doctor and they'd use this. How does it work? Uh, oh, wow. Okay, let me, let me, and what does it do? Well, well shock you. <laughs> it did shock me a little bit. Sometimes, like, the esthetician yeah, uses it, it for your it, face. It does nothing. It, I don't it, know if it's it, the same it, kind but of thing. People believe, strongly believe that it would make them better. When you think of a cold, colds last seven days. If yep. you start this on day four, you're going to be better the next <laughs> Wow. How long were these uh, in existence? Like, how long did they use them? Oh, uh, somebody recently said that the, one of their doctors is still using it, but. <laughs> Stay away from that, doctor. <laughs> yeah. All right, coming up next hour, there is much more to explore. Rod's going to take us and show us some more crazy things oh. here at the Gold Country Medical There's so a medical uh, museum off of Elvis, too, here in Sacramento. Yeah, they were just talking about that. It, it is amazing. Uh, it is really amazing, but I'm telling you, nothing will make you appreciate your health insurance. <laughs>